Hey everybody, so in today's video we want to take a look at how you can use layers and colors to isolate geometry and organize your drawings. Uh, to begin with, let's get over here to the right side where it says layers. This is your layers manager. It could be located in other locations depending on which user profile you're running. Uh, layers are like pieces of paper and you can create new ones and you can move geometry from one layer to another, again, to isolate features or generally organize your design. In this example, I'm going to right click in this window here to add a new layer. I'll left click on add new layer. I'll give it a name and hit enter. So at this point, I've created a new layer. You'll notice the green checkbox is on this layer. That means it's the active layer. So anything that I draw at this point will be drawn on the new layer. If I go to the previous layer and left click on the eyeball, it will hide that layer. So again, this is a, a fast and easy way to organize your design. Now when it comes to colors, you'll notice that uh, these color attributes are both set to blue. Uh, you do have the ability to turn on use layer attributes, which will use the color definition for that layer when creating geometry. If you want to change the active color, you can come down here to the bottom where this color block is. You can hit the arrow down and you can change whatever uh, color you would like to be active. Again, using layers and colors is a way to organize your drawing uh, and make it easier to select geometry or make it easier to view specific geometry. Uh, let's go ahead and create some new geometry. So I'm going to uh, be on this layer number one. I'm going to change the color that I'm drawing with to this brown color here. We'll go to create 2D. Uh, we'll draw a circle. We'll pick up some reference geometry and we'll create our circle you'll notice that circle is now brown matching the active color. If we want to change the layer or color that our geometry is located on, we can go to select mode. Okay, so we're in selection. We can window pick all of our geometry and then right click and go to modify attributes. Uh, from here we can change the color for all of our selected geometry, the line style for all of our selected geometry, or even the layer as well. In this example I'm going to choose color, I'm going to go to this blue color, and now I've changed the geometry color to blue.